For hundreds of people today, it was an afternoon of escapism and make-believe. It was where comics and cosplay came to life, a combination of passion and big business. Oh, one punch man. Jackson Rissler and Cameron Swadler are huge comic book and sci-fi fans. It's one of the rare full art pieces and I wanted to be able to hang it on my wall. They and hundreds of others gathered at the Triple Crown Pavilion for Louisville Con, celebrating all things animation, fantasy, toys, and pop culture. Comics and like anime have always been a thing in my life, so being able to go to these is awesome because it lets me like be who I am. Many of those took their love of comics to a whole different level, dressing up as their favorite characters as they went from booth to booth. It's a way to let your creativity go and wander in hundreds of different well, realities, and it's fun. It's not just a few hours to escape. For the vendors here, comic conventions are huge business. This Spider-Man comic, $30,000. The value of comics along this wall alone, more than $1 million. Since uh, the pandemic, instead of investing in the stock market, now they're buying collectibles because they're going to make their money in return on investment. While familiar faces can be seen walking around, others have unmistakable voices. A lot of times when people come up, I'll say, hi, I'm Patricia Patz, and I was the voice of Peppermint Patty. And, they're, and they get this like surprised look on their face, like they can't believe I'm actually here. The afternoon capped off with a cosplay and costume contest. Rick Guardian. Give us a big pose, Rick Guardian. Organizers say all walks of life attend this event. Some are teachers, doctors, accountants, and even judges. They'll dress up the whole family and come up for the day, enjoy themselves. They love getting their pictures taken with people. It's a part of your childhood that you love, and now it's rare, so now you can cherish it. Louisville Con happens twice a year. The next one will take place in October.